Hi guys, it's Otto here and today I've got a new video for you where I answer one of my viewers questions um, as he is not able to reset his motor. Um, and to start off I first have to tell you that this, uh, this video is only for uh, mains powered motors, so 110 or 220 volts, so not the battery powered ones uh, that you find in blinds, shades, etc. Uh, so it's very important to realize because it has a completely different procedure, so this will not work. But if you have a, a shutter, an awning, anything else that's on 110 or 220, then uh, this procedure will work perfectly. So that's uh, the first disclaimer. Um, now to the question, what the um, what the problem is, is that when the reset procedure is done, um, after you put the power back on, so you have this free, eight free um, operation, but after the first three seconds that you take the power off, um, what happens is, is that the motor moves up and down, um, which looks like this. And then of course you can't continue the, the procedure because everything else is different from what I show you in the different videos. Um, so how can you solve it? It's very simple. First you have to realize that there are three states of the motor. Um, it's unprogrammed, fully programmed, and sort of in between. Um, and that's the situation we find ourselves in right now. Is uh, when the motor is not, the, 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 the programming procedure has not been completed fully. Um, what the motor will do is when you do this uh, 383 sequence, after three seconds when you power it on, it will jog shortly. Uh, and that's a clear indication of a, a motor that's not been fully programmed or where the procedure hasn't been completed. So the way to solve it is to put the motor back onto power. You take your remote, this is a smooth, and you press the proc button, which is on the back. And you hold it until the motor jogs, and that's it. Once that's done, the motor considers itself programmed, and you can start the, uh, the reset procedure. So that's, uh, that's how to solve it. It's very easy, but you have to know what to do. Um, and often this is not indicated in any of, uh, any of the documentation. So it's, uh, it's not the easiest one to solve in terms of finding info. But now that you know, um, hopefully you can, uh, you can get further with the, uh, the programming and the resetting and uh, getting your screen shutter or whatever else you're using back operational. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, links are in the description. I try to answer to most of the, uh, the questions. Um, so let me know what you need and uh, I'll let you help you. Thank you and bye.